Now, I must, while you're here, talk about the mini reshuffle yes. that took place today. Quite interesting. Uh, firstly, Jacob Rees-Mogg, who, of course, very prominent uh, Brexiteer, uh, had become a very popular figure in the country. Suddenly, he was parked off as leader of the House of Commons. He sat in that chair mm. uh, doing talking pints with me a few months ago, brought his own cider in. Wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I've had some of his own cider <laughs> it's, well, it's at one of his Christmas parties. <laughs> They're brilliant. It's he should sell them. He really should. <laughs> but Jacob now, a new position, you know, mm. minister for Brexit, for seizing the opportunities of Brexit. Mm. Suddenly, Jacob becomes a high-profile politician again, doesn't he? It's interesting. He's had quite an inward-facing role over these last few years. Leader of the House of Commons is an important role, but it's pretty perfunctory. It's about business of the House. It's answering when debates should be and what gets approved and all this sort of uh, nitpicking sort of stuff. Yeah. This seems like it will be a more substantive role. It's one of these things that the Prime Minister po promised his backbenchers at that 1922 committee meeting yeah. a couple of weeks ago, saying that this needs to be a government that doing things. And I think behind all of the nonsense about party Has it taken him two and a half years to work that out? Well, I think this, is, this was a criticism of many people, yeah. actually, well before all the stories about parties. You've won this enormous historic majority, this Thatcher-style majority, and yet this wasn't a government that was doing very much that could be comparable mm. to Mrs Thatcher at all. And potentially, it, what's needed is someone who is singularly focused on finding the opportunities that Brexit provides, on rolling back the frontiers that Europe imposed upon Britain. Because yeah. it does seem to me that in a lot of these areas, and potentially this was a, a, a large oh, part of Lord Frost's resignation as well, in a lot of these areas no, it's been dropped. dropped. The ball. They dropped the ball. And I think there are millions of self-employed people out there and businesses and entrepreneurs that feel that very strongly, not to mention trade deals with America and much else.